the reason you haven't quit doing something that you want to stop doing is very simple. You and I and everyone, we have vices, we have habits that we're like, man, I cannot keep doing this. One habit I had and I struggled with was drinking. Like I always found myself drinking, you know, I would. I would go out on weekends because it was a social thing. So I would go out on weekends, weekdays, um, grabbing a drink. You know, if you're in a if you're in an environment where there's nightclub bars, you may if you go out enough, you'll know the bartenders, you'll know the hostesses, you'll know the waiters, waitresses, uh, managers. You start to know people. You start to see people and get consistent. And so, you know, that feeling of community whether if it's the right community or not for you, calls you on top of the alcohol and taking shots and you know having drinks and bouncing from place to place. And there was a part of my life where that was a heavy, a heavy, uh, those are heavy habits for me, like, you know, multiple times a week. And I saw how my face, body was deteriorating from it. Um, wasn't going to the gym as much as I would have liked. I uh, wasn't waking up early. And so it was just destructive to me in ways that I just didn't want to live that specific way. And there's a few things that happened that got me to a point to where I didn't want to drink as much. Uh, one was COVID. I got COVID and that kind of shifted a lot um, with what I ate and also what I drank. And then I didn't go out as much, obviously. Uh, but another thing, too, that was a shift that helped tremendously was removing my identity of the person who is the party, go out drinking guy. Because for a while, that identity was a part of who I was because I felt like it served myself in a way that made me seem and feel a certain popularity, uh, filled a social void that was missing, and it filled a fun void. You know, it filled a, or it filled a, some some holes or dark holes that I didn't really want to face um, personally, and so. That was my identity. And, you know, doing self development, really taking some hard stares in the mirror, I started to realize like, I don't really want this to be my identity because, yeah, it may be fun hanging around with other people, but what is it doing for me? What is it doing for myself personally? How is this affecting myself? And, I had to become selfish and you become selfish in a way that you want the best interests. You want your, you want the interests of yourself to be of best. You want to feel and be the best version of yourself and how I was able to stop. I think ultimately came down to identity. It's like, Am I a heavy drinker? Do I want to be a heavy drinker? Am I an alcoholic? Do I want to be an alcoholic? And I think we see in even movies, and if anyone's been addicted to anything and had to go through therapy, I'm sure that's been a heck of a battle for you. And you, from what I've seen, I've never been in an AA meeting, but you say your name. And then you say what you are. My name is Derek. I'm an alcoholic. And so you're labeling yourself. You're labeling the identity you have of why you're in this place. And that realization of it really comes down to what you want your identity to be is why you do certain things.
I didn't want to be an alcoholic. My identity was what I didn't want to be. I'm a heavy drinker or I'm a drinker or I'm a whatever. That ain't, that's not what I wanted my identity to be. And so to change that, I had to reshift what I thought of myself. And I also had to reshift and shape my environment because that's a huge indicator onto it as well. There would be liquor on my on the top of uh, my refrigerator and the cabinets and it was just easily accessible. And I'm like, I, I've got to, I was like, I have to let it go. I, I, this isn't who I am. This isn't what I want to be. So that identity shift was a big part. That was a big part of it. And I think with anything, identity, your identity, how you believe and what you believe your identity is, is and can single-handedly shape the things that you do in your life. If you want to work out more, if you want to get in shape, label yourself an athlete. And if you start to tell yourself, I'm an athlete, I'm an athlete. That's how I look at myself. I'm an athlete. And so I'm an athlete with the way I move. I'm an athlete with, with the clothes that I buy. Uh, I'm an athlete with certain habits because I've identified myself as that. And so now that I've identified myself as an athlete, then I have to do the things that athletes do. So I have to move. I have to maybe run. I have to lift weights. I've got to stretch. You know, I've got to take cold showers. I've got to... Maybe play basketball here and there. You know, these are the things that from that shifting of an identity, you almost force yourself, you almost trick yourself to believe you're something. And in the most cases, you're going to have to tell yourself you're something that you may not in the present moment be. And that's also like the power of visualization, of visualizing who this person is that you want to be or labeling yourself something that you may not even be yet. I want to be rich. So it's like, I'm rich, bro. I'm wealthy. I am rich. And so when you say these words, when you speak these things to yourself, you're identifying that this is who you are. And this is, even if it may not on the outside Fuck the outside. Fuck what everybody else thinks. You are moving in the direction to become more of that. You know, even speaking on camera, if I if I tell myself I'm a YouTuber, if someone's like, what do you do? And I say, I'm a YouTuber. You have to actually stand into that. And it's like, OK, what do YouTubers do? Well, they make videos. They talk on camera. They speak about whatever topic it is that they want to speak about. And that is that step into becoming something that you want to become is you have to change how you identify yourself. You have to change your identity. And some people may be like, well, you know, you change. You used to be this way. You you, you used to be this, you, you know. Fuck what everybody else says, because everyone isn't you. You're you. And the only way for you to become the person that you want to become is that you have to realize what your identity is. And your identity isn't Joe Joe's identity, isn't your, your friend's identity, isn't your cousin's, isn't your mom's, isn't your dad's, your whatever sibling. It's your identity. And that's the scary feeling for some people realizing it's, it's you. But it's also an empowering and it's an uplifting feeling to realize that your decisions and how you believe and think about yourself determines the direction in life that you go. I'm wishing you the best. I hope that these words helped in a way that can help you step more into the identity of what you want to become. Peace and love.